Hey guys, good morning. So I'm going for a quick run outside. It's cold. It's like almost 40 degrees though, and I love running outside by the water here. So I'm taking full advantage of this slightly sunny winter day. I'm gonna kill my run. And then I decided it would be a great time to give you guys an updated home tour because our house is clean as fuck right now. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome, hello. I'm so glad you're here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button before we get started and hit it with a thumbs up if you are excited for this updated home tour because I haven't shown you guys my home in a while. I'm kind of excited because I feel like it's pretty done. So I'm about to go kill this run, but if you guys would like to see my updated home tour, then y'all can go ahead and keep on watching this video. Hey guys, all right, so it's been a while since I've actually given you guys a home tour. I think the last full one I did was when we like moved into the house. So I'm really excited because we've basically got almost everything done. There's like little stuff outside we still need to do, but inside's basically done. So I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of our home. So when you enter our living room, you guys probably remember this piece from the last tour. By the way, I'll link everything in the description bar on YouTube that I can find. If you guys want to know where things are from, just check down there. But this is basically the same as before. Um, I have some fairy lights. I have a new succulent, but I just kind of switch it up whenever I get bored. But that is our little entryway. Most of that stuff is from Kirkland's, but like I said, I'll put it in the links if I can find it. Actually got a new sectional. We got a new couch from Art Van and it's so much bigger and I fucking love it because we like to entertain now that we have a house and we fit so many more people in here. But these are, I just, I like to be really cozy. Lots of blankets, lots of pillows. Abilene is always up there looking outside. This is where you can find me working during the day a lot of the time. But yeah, this um, lamp we got from Menards, I believe. We took a really long time finding one, but I love that one. And yeah, just a lot of little decorative stuff. Everything else in here is kind of the same from before, just like little things moved around. We have Kaya's little footprint over here and the toy she had when we had to put her down. So if you guys didn't know, we lost Kaya. Uh, we're very sad, but still have my favorite little cozy corner over here. We ended up leaving this fireplace natural. We didn't convert it to gas. Give you guys the pan up. Um, we actually really like using it as a natural fireplace now, so we're going to hold off on that for a while. And we've really been enjoying it this winter. Still all my cozy little area. When you come into our kitchen, we still have all this going on. I moved that door there the other day. I think that cart is going to go because it just didn't, doesn't really match the vibe anymore. And there's our mantle. I think I'm going to redo that mantle too. Make it a little bit more minimal. Love the plant. Those baskets for the plants that you're going to see throughout the house are from Amazon. And so our dining room is probably the biggest glow up from the last video. There's my little Roomba down there. She's a lifesaver. Um, we got this really like farmhouse style bench dining room table at Art Van. It seats like at least 12 people. It's amazing. The rugs are from Wayfair. Um, I have a shelf back in the corner. I got this ladder back here from Kirkland's. I've got some fake eucalyptus and my entertaining like napkins in there. And then this, I think it might go up here. This is actually a painting or a picture that my uh, late grandmother did with charcoal. So she was an amazing artist and we thought it would be cool to have a piece of her in the house too. So we gotta figure out where that's going still, but the dining room definitely is the biggest change since the last time you guys have seen it. Nothing new outside since it's still winter, but I can't wait till spring to get everything fixed up. And then now we have our backsplash. So our backsplash is like white subway tile with dark grout. So that's basically the only thing that's changed in the kitchen. Other than the fact that I really like cleaned it up and got a lot of shit off the counters. I'm still searching for like a coffee tray to put all this stuff on to keep it like grouped together. Cause y'all know I'm like obsessed with my coffee. I love having fresh fruit, obviously tons of it. I love, 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 love this area. I, I love to cook. So I am like living for this kitchen every day of my life. But yeah, 
This is the kitchen. I'm not even sure how much of this was in the last one, so I'm just gonna go over it anyways. We have this runner from Wayfair in the hallway. This is our main bathroom, which I think you guys already saw when it was finished, but just some little changes in here. Um, this new shower curtain, I'm so in love with it. It's from Target. It has those cute little tassel details on the bottom. I was absolutely obsessive about getting that. I love it so much. It's so like light and airy and clean looking. But I still love our bathroom. Everything is just very clean, marble, white, bright. Just totally my entire vibe. Next is the glam office. I'm so in love with that sign. But you guys know this is where I do all my work at home. If you follow me on social media, you've seen it a million times. So still the Target rug. Everyone asks me about where I got that. And I think it's still available. I'll link it if it is. But I just have my shelving unit. I've got all my books over here. My printer. This is a really great um, small printer if you guys are looking and you don't have a ton of space. I really want something white and compact. And it is also wireless. So I will link this one. I got it on Amazon Prime. And I've had really good luck with it so far. And like I said, all my books are in here that I do for like giveaways and stuff. My kits for hair and makeup are right here. And then here is my desk area. Got Marilyn above it. But just the basic things. I've got my Himalayan salt lamp, my podcast mic, my coffee warmer. You guys see these things like every day if you follow me. Just a plant in the corner with those baskets from Amazon. My chairs, my seating area. I've got some pillows, some crystals. Um, that pillow is from my merch for my podcast that is at sarahordo.com. You can grab it there with some mugs and shirts and other stuff. But yeah, this is my little seating area for when people are here or when we're doing trials and someone comes along with my ring light. This is where I film all of my YouTube beauty videos. It's not perfectly organized right now, but y'all know these are the like Alex Ikea setup vanity things. But yeah, this is where the magic happens. This is where I do my makeup. This is where I get everyone else ready for their hair and makeup when they're here. Then I have all of our awards that we've won up above the closet here. So we just won both awards again for 2019. So I'm so excited to get those to add them right there. And then this is my closet. P.S. I'm wearing the Her Best Fucking Life cropped hoodie from my merch line. So if you guys are curious, here it is. This is what I'm dressed like 90% of the time when I'm at home. But this is my closet since it was the bigger one. And y'all, I Marie kondo it and got it like way more organized. And I'm so excited. I actually love this like shelving system. It came in the closet when we bought the house. So like it's gotten me super organized. And then all my like dresses and like fancier things are back in there too. And then here is our bedroom. I love our bedroom so much. I've always wanted to like have a bedroom that I enjoyed being in and like loved everything. So it's very bright, very white, very like clean and minimal. There is those Amazon plant baskets again. They're so cute. I love them so much. But our TV, some fairy lights. I have a Himalayan salt lamp, a little plant here. And a clock. Uh, that little faux fur thing. That's actually our humidifier because it gets kind of dry in here. This is actually my jewelry storage. So this opens and then everything is inside of it, which is super convenient. And then this is our dog stool so the dog can get in the bed, which we only have one dog right now, but there's a new one coming soon. And I love those little things about our bed. I'm obsessed with them. So here's my little night table. These, these lamps are from Target and there's Kaya's collar. I keep it right here so I can say good morning and good night to her every day. But my favorite lip products. Usually if I'm reading any books lately, I'll have those out here. This one is so good. I am like living for Southern Reese Witherspoon. But yeah, I just wanted really clean white bedding in here. So that is our bed. There's one of Adeline's bones. Andrew's side, uh, the remotes. And I vow to always love you even during football season. So cute. And then I have this corner shelf here with just a lot of little like trinkety things on it. And then we have our little shrine for Kaya here. These are her ashes. I'm a little baby girl, but that's that. Oh, I made this for Andrew. I've never shown you guys this, 
for our one year anniversary, I got little mementos from all the trips we went on our first year and made this little like shadow box with it. And I even have the receipt from the restaurant we had breakfast at when he went to Maine with me three days after meeting me, where it all began. So I love that. And Andrew's got back from a trip. His uh, suitcase is there, but that's his closet. And then this is actually our second bathroom in here. Um, it's Andrew's bathroom right now, which I'm not even going to show it to you guys because I'm sure it's a fucking disaster because I don't clean it. But we need to update that bathroom at some point and make it all nice and new and pretty. That's our updated home tour with everything kind of put together and done. We feel very at home now. We feel like everything is finally like home and comfortable and we're very settled here. And yes, as I mentioned earlier, we um, lost Kaya. So we're a little sad about it, but we're excited because we're actually getting another rescue. Abilene was a rescue. Um, we got her a couple months ago and we actually already found another rescue that we're going to be getting in a couple weeks so we're really excited to bring her home and make her a part of our home and our family too i actually did a whole podcast episode about losing kaya and everything if you guys are interested to hear it i'll throw it down in the description box once the episode is live um i don't want to do a whole video about it because I, it was hard enough filming the podcast about it and trying not to be emotional. So I feel like doing it in a video would be probably even harder. So if you guys wanna hear the whole story about it, uh, it'll be on her Best Fucking Life podcast. I'll throw the episode down below once it's live so you guys can check it out. And also follow me on Instagram so you can see our new baby. So like I said, what I can link, what I can find online, I'll throw in the description bar for you guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you love this video. If you like seeing more of our like at home life and a sneak peek behind the scenes, let me know in the comments and I'll try to do more of these like lifestyle type videos for you guys because I'm trying to be more active on YouTube this year. It's one of my things I'd like to do in 2019. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and make sure you guys subscribe before leaving if you have not already so you don't miss anything else. My face will be on the screen here. If you click it, you'll be subscribed to my channel. And I'll also have some other videos for you guys to check out as well. But I think that is all I have to say right now. So until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.